Well, welcome to another episode of HF Conversations. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of our series over the last few weeks. It was really fun answering questions live on stage. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, and yeah so, it was good. Uh, Keep sending in those questions. If you have more, we're going to be answering them live on our YouTube show over the next few weeks. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, but before we jump into those over the next few weeks, uh, I wanted to sit down and talk to Robbie. Yeah. Robbie's our Bluefield campus pastor. Woo, Bluefield. Yeah, I go Bluefield. We love Bluefield campus. And Robbie actually just got back with Pastor Allen and some of our other campus pastors from Israel. And you're going to hear a message from him at the end of this series. But I wanted him to just kind of give us a personal look into what it was like yeah. being in Israel like yeah. man that's a different world <laughs> yeah. so yeah, the, why don't you just kind of set up for us a little bit just about the trip and, and what you guys did yeah yeah so I mean we we literally went everywhere and yeah. the the thought that I would have the chance to go there mm. it never crossed my mind ever that I would have the opportunity so I, I'm I understand how lucky I am yeah and with that I, I am eternally grateful um, I think one of the the stories that come back to me, and and a lot of people have asked me, you know, do you do you really know that that's the rock that <laughs> Jesus was born? Do you yeah. do you really know that that's where uh, the cross was at, and, and all those things? And and really, the answer is is obviously for me, uh, no, I don't know without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, I, I I can't, and so a lot of times Mark would would say traditionally this is where they believe that that Jesus was born and and there's a good chance that this yeah. is this is it and it for sure was in this area um, and I shared this uh, story at our, our Bluefield campus and so if you're from Bluefield and you're watching this and this is sure. something that you've heard you know be surprised act surprised but <laughs> um, I, I, we went to Bethlehem and Alan was talking about getting kicked out of places who do you think he got kicked out with you know yeah. so uh, ride or die with Alan That's you know right. there in, <laughs> in Israel and um, but we're there in Bethlehem and, and uh, we're in a crowd of people mm-hmm. and uh, honestly it's it's one of those things where you want it to in those moments really mean a lot to you and, and it does yeah. but there's also a ton of people who are trying to get to the exact place that you're trying to get to yeah. and um, it, 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 it's one of those things that's just kind of tricky and you're trying to get in the mi- right mind frame and of course all of us are like kids in a candy store sure. being there in, in Israel and it's uh, but you know they're, you're, you're still getting pushed by people and, and all those things so we get to the to the place and uh, we get to touch it and we get to see where the manger was and it, it was great it yeah. really was and but it wasn't until afterwards that we went to a shawarma shop and shawarma is this amazing uh grilled chicken slow cooked and i mean I'm whoo, <laughs> yeah it is fantastic <laughs> and um i love it but we're we're in a, a shawarma shop uh getting ready to eat and um i'm just kind of standing and reflecting on where i am yeah. And it's like this moment hit me that I am standing in Bethlehem, not just some place that that is is written in word that I read about sometimes, but I am literally standing in the place where God decided this is going to be the place where I tell my story and the savior wow. of the world is going to come here. And so I I'm yeah. sitting in there and I'm having chills right now just thinking about it. Yeah. Uh and I, I start like tearing up in the shawarma shop, <laughs> and, I, and uh, I'm, I'm aggravated about somebody pushing me where I'm at the place where where Jesus uh, was born. But when, mm-hmm. once I get to the shawarma shop, once I get to food, I get emotional. I guess yeah. um, I, I, I tell that story simply uh, because there there are places all throughout Israel yeah. uh, that that have a lot of significance. Uh, and there are some places where there's debate whether or not that actually does have significance. Mm. Um, but what I do know is that Bethlehem is real, and Jesus really did come there. Yeah. And the best part of the story is that Jesus doesn't stay there anymore. He he lives in here now. Yeah. And to think that God chose that small place to tell His story, so that I could tell the story of God. But yeah. now it is it is just incredible. I can't um, I can't put into words the 
the emotion that that I had there having yeah. that moment. So, and that's an that's an incredible experience to to like be there, yep. see that, yeah. realize on one hand how important it is, yeah. but then on the other hand how personal our relationship with Jesus is that we don't actually have to go there. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to travel to Bethlehem. Right. We don't have to make a pilgrimage there. Um, yeah. But it just kind of solidified this like sort of beautiful reality for yeah. us that that Jesus is with us. Absolutely. Uh, man, yeah. that's that's exciting. Yes. I, I'm sure that was amazing. What yeah. what are what are some other just maybe a couple quick things that you experienced that you thought, hey, this was really cool, yeah. unexpected, yeah. interesting. Uh, well, when we got to the Sea of Galilee, you better believe that I was looking at that water saying, Jesus, you, yeah, I'll walk on it if you let me walk on it. You know, I, <laughs> yeah. I saw it. And yeah. uh, so so if you ever go, this is this is where I went wrong, I think. So if you want to walk on water, don't do what I did. Um, so I saw it, and I, I truly was praying, God, yeah. I will walk on that water <laughs> right yeah. now, you know? Sure. And, uh, well, the first thing is is that I changed into my bathing suit. Wow. I shouldn't have done that. You should know? have had the faith. I, I should have had the faith. <laughs> and then secondly, I took off from about 100 yards out just running dead sprint at it yeah and i think i was just uh i was just thinking you know what i'm i've, I've got quick enough feet to to run on it yeah and, uh, you like that little lizard thing yeah yeah do the do yeah. the jesus lizard i think yeah. is what it's called and uh you know um i, I got a couple of steps out there and uh um, I started like the horizon started lowering and and my legs started getting colder and stuff and i was like no don't look down don't look down <laughs> and uh but that that was that was really neat, um, and uh, I mean just just an incredible uh, experience. But the next day, uh, it's God's humor. I got to actually drive a boat on it, ah, so I might not be able to nice. walk on it. But God said, H- "Here you go, right?" <laughs> but you have floated on top yeah, of I've, the Sea of Galilee. You heard nice. it here first on HF That's Conversations. Right. That's, there's and there are photos on the internet of Robbie. There is there the is. sea captain Robbie. So. <laughs> and. Um, that, that that was incredible um floating in the dead sea um I, I again it's very salty i hit my leg on a rock uh going in there uh, and talk about an intense burn yeah but i've never had a wound heal up so quick in my oh, life yeah. uh, so that that was a uh, that was a uh, memorable for sure um just, just everything about it I, I think one thing for me that really um connected with me um and we have a lot of people who adopt and are who do foster care and everything. Mm-hmm. When we were there, we got to go on the Golan Heights, which is this this territory that is is you know whose is it? Is it Israel's? Is it is it um, uh, Syria's? You know, and, and it is unbelievably beautiful. Mm-hmm. But there's also um, kind of this place where you drive by and um, you can see kind of these shacks and everything and um, th- there are these walls made out of uh, kind of scrap metal and stuff and um, it brought me back to the thought that there there are refugees that uh, are displaced from their homes and um, you know I, it just burned in my heart yeah. uh, for those people uh, but at the same time, in the midst of, of God's holy land, uh, there are wars that are waging on. Uh, but we're having this beautiful picture uh, of the Sea of Galilee behind us and beautiful mountains. And uh, But still there's unrest between families and children and governments and all these types of things. And yeah. uh, I think for me, what I chose to focus more on was the fact that there was still peace in the midst of all this chaos. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, what what a powerful what a powerful thing that it was, and um, I, I think about that daily. That that thought of God truly brings peace in the midst of chaos there in Israel, but again, right here. Yeah. And uh, everything around us, no matter what it is. I think that's such an an important thing for us to you know sort of consider is like, I know several people who have gone to Israel. I've never had the opportunity to do that. Um, and I'm always encouraged by the stories that I hear, yeah. but it's also like great to know that there's nothing there <laughs> yeah. that I have to see in 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 a way of like you know part of our faith yeah. like completing itself right, right. right. That, that Jesus has finished that work right. on the cross that, yep. that everything that we need is through him That's right. and so 
uh, it's exciting to hear that being reinforced. Yeah. But then it's always encouraging to think like, you know, I don't, that there's nothing there that I have to go and yeah. see that I don't have to see that to believe it, right? That we can have faith in right. those things that are unseen. Absolutely. And so, uh, man, thank you so much for, yeah, for sharing some of that. Uh, over you. the next few weeks, uh, Robbie's going to share. Some of our other mm-hmm. campus pastors will be speaking as well about their experiences, and we're going to be sharing some videos, some pictures from those places. So it's going to be really exciting. You should come to one of our physical campuses, or you can always join us online, live.hf.church, every single weekend for our online campus. And uh, you can hear more about Israel and more stories from places that Jesus literally spoke from, yeah. which I'm really excited about Absolutely. about seeing those. I've watched some of the footage, and it's just incredible to imagine Jesus speaking to the crowds. You know, Jesus in a spot where he, he heals someone with leprosy, <laughs> like... Yep. It's wild. So so be sure to check all that stuff out. And, uh, again, Robbie will be speaking. Uh, when you, Do you remember know when you're speaking? June 3rd. June 3rd. Yep. So, so, so make yeah. your plans. Yeah. Make your plans. Yeah. Come to Highlands on June the 3rd. <laughs> Robbie Gaines, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> no, thanks. but really, thank you for being here. Yeah. And, uh, again, thank you guys for watching and being a part of HF Conversations. Uh, mm-hmm. We have a lot of questions coming over the next week. And if you'd like to submit a question, if you walked through this series with us, um, we talked about so many great things. Uh, We talked about some difficult things. We talked about some really personal things. And if you have a question that you would like answered, uh, you can still do that. You can go to hf.church slash questions and you can still submit a question. Everything's completely anonymous. So you can ask as as personal or as, you know, whatever you want to ask. um, And we'll we'll do our best to answer that. So keep sending those in and uh, maybe we'll have to have you on a panel sometime. That's awesome. So I could ask a question about like, say like, yeah, 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 we'll get you a real. <laughs> awesome. So, thank you guys for being here today for another HF conversation, and we'll see you next week. Bye.